Hey everybody, it's uh, Brian here from uh, quantlabs.net. Um, just want to talk to uh, people out there uh, in YouTube land or whatever land you're from about the importance of choosing a really good broker. Also, also talking about the importance of a really good trading platform. So I'm going to combine that in this video. Very important. Today is July, 8, uh, July 9th. 2013 so it's very very up to date so uh, what started this was just looking at implementing uh, trading strategies and uh, you know you, you don't think about these other things like your broker and your trading platform but I'm going to tell you what you need to be aware of when you're moving forward so let's first talk about um, about your trading platform uh, just gonna find my um, my important uh, uh, trade link here. Okay, so here in this trade link uh, is quite critical. Uh, when you look at uh, a lot of open source trading platforms, you're going to find uh, a lot of them, especially the Java based ones, are going to be really limited on the brokers that you can talk to and also the data providers. These are the entire list that you get with uh, trade link. Um, this is one of the reasons why, uh, one of the biggest reasons why I use TradeLink uh, because of the amount of brokers uh, and uh, data providers that you can link into. Um, of course, you have uh, interactive brokers um, for the TWS, the IB, uh, as well as some other ones, uh, Lightspeed, uh, Sterling, and uh, uh, what's the other one? MB Trading. Uh, MB Trading. I'm, I'm going to look at and show you as well. Okay, so let's first talk about interactive brokers. Now, interactive brokers, as we know, although is the largest um, interact or largest trading broker out there, especially for automated trading and even potentially, uh, dare I say, high uh, high frequency trading. But recently, uh, in the last few months, I'm not saying that interactive brokers is going into some kind of tailspin, but they, they, they don't seem to be doing too good. Um, I talked to uh, a couple of Americans and they say that a lot of Americans are getting uh, losing their accounts with interactive brokers and nobody knows why, just due, due to the fact that interactive brokers has just been getting clobbered uh, in the market making side of things in the last few months. They just put out a quarter last, lost like $250 million, not good news. Um, so. That puts me in a warning sign of critical, critical importance. Now, I'm going to show you uh, the various um, uh, reviews I've been noticing with interactive brokers in the last few months. And this is making me rethink of, of going with interactive brokers as my trading uh, broker. I haven't put any money into them, and if you're in them, after reading or seeing these reviews, I, I think you should take heed and take notice on these because uh, these are important. Okay, first, there's this report of uh, how they did in April last quarter. Not good. Um, then, when you start looking at how they've been clobbered on the market making side, these are fairly recent, um, fairly recent reviews. This one's from Forex Peace Army, and these obviously are from the larger. Uh, Forex uh, bulletin boards or uh, forums, but you look at the reviews, one out of five, two out of five, um, and quite a number, uh, another one, one out of five, and, and, and these are kind of startling. Um, what I, when I read these, uh, it seems that Interactive Brokers has got crappy uh, uh, customer service. Uh, but the scary thing is when you put your money into an, uh, create an account with Interactive bro Brokers, it gets tied up in Interactive Brokers, meaning if you want to cash out and get your money, you could go through a, a really long time. It just seems <clears throat> that people are hiring lawyers and whatnot that are costing them money to get money out of Interactive Brokers. And people are walking away with... Um, with, uh, you know, losing their shirt. I mean, here's one about a guy who's lost the opportunity of trading $8,000. Their execution sucks, um, so on and so forth. Uh, I could go on and on. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's just not a good story when you read these. This is a lead trader. Um, this one's not so bad. Um, that's probably just due to the fact that maybe they, they uh, interactive brokers uh, advertise with a lead trader. 
So this might be kind of bias towards elite, uh, to interactive brokers being a positive uh, reviews. So um, looking at this one, we got Yelp, okay? And these are recent, March, July, that's like a few days ago, June, a month ago, June again. This is the one that really scares me. Warning your margin account is a ticking time bomb at interactive brokers. This, this one also really screamed at me. You trade on margin and interact, I beg you to close your account and transfer your assets immediately. Uh, as I said, this this these have been posted at uh, interactive brokers. And this is just recently. So something's going on over at um, interactive brokers. Now, uh, let me show you, because I'm, I'm planning to go with TradeLink, uh, that, li uh, that, that link I showed you, let me just pull it up again, here, uh, okay, um, this, this link with a trade link, all the connectors, um, as I said, my, right now I'm, I'm looking at this one, MB Trading, and Lightspeed, wherever that, that one right here. Now, um, I've looked at these guys. I'm not looking at Genesis, and I'm not looked at Sterling. And let me, let me just address Sterling for a minute. Uh, me being in Canada, it's just it's it's just ask backwards being in Canada. Uh, if you're starting out small, under a hundred thousand uh, dollars, really honestly, interactive broker is your only option. But what I just showed you, obviously, uh, for me. Uh, I would not be comfortable with interactive brokers at this present time, especially uh, in, in July of 2013. Um, so Sterling comes away as, as, as a good option, but again, I've talked to a, a couple of Sterling providers. you got to have a million dollars being in Canada. Now, I don't know what it's like in the States or Europe, so I have no idea. That brings me to uh, two other ones that I've looked at a few years ago, uh, Lightspeed and MB Trading. Now, Let's talk about MB Trading for a minute. Now, I've done the reviews on MB Trading, uh, and these these reviews are not good either. This is from uh, Forex Peace Army. Uh, they don't look any better than um, any better than uh, uh, interactive brokers. Okay, um, so I don't know. Just just saying. Uh, and then also that brings me to Lightspeed. Uh, so Lightspeed seems to be doing okay. Again, lead trader, I don't know if they're worth even relying on. But here's here's a different, uh, a good review. Uh, it's kind of balanced. I always focus, I don't care about the positives. <laughs> I always focus on the negative. Um, okay, so no difference with a $10,000 minimum. Uh, Okay, that's usual. Downloading forms. Web Trader we're not using at all. Um, no extended hours for Web Trader because we're using trade links. We're doing automated trading, and the customer service is not top quality. Well, we know that uh, you get the same thing even if uh, Interactive Brokers was on a healthy foundation. Financially, uh, as far as I know, their 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 customer service wasn't any better. So Lightspeed looks okay. Doesn't look great. Um, now, uh, where's the requirements for light speed? Okay, uh, oh, here we are. Okay, these are the requirements. Now, being in Canada, uh, it's not so difficult. You just need to have a home address. You can probably bug one of your friends in the States. Uh, Social Security, uh, which I think I have. Uh, to get a tax identification number, if you open up a corporation in the states uh, and then register with the IRS you will get a EIN number so I'm hoping that's the same to qualify there and of course your employer name that's going to be yourself you're going to be self uh, self-employed as, as a trading so light speed is a doable option as a Canadian um, it's definitely easier than uh, MB trading uh, MB trading just seems to be a uh, a nightmare in terms of the limitations of countries that are supported. Uh, I'm British, uh, British born. They don't even cover a uh, full suite of all the MB trading options. Uh, Canada's not even listed here, but everywhere else is. And maybe where you live is part of this. It might be a wise idea to uh, set up shop in a Caribbean island like the uh, Caribbean, like Turks and Caicos, St. Kitts, St. Lucia. 
Bridges, 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 Bridge Line. So those, those are options as well if you do decide to go and be trading. So there's some options. I'm going to still look at uh, these other ones, uh, Genesis and Sterling. I'm going to try to dig up some more info. Um, but there are some options using uh, TradeLink uh, outside of um, uh, outside of uh, uh, Interactive Brokers as a, as a broker. Now this fix option, not really smart. Uh, I wouldn't go down that path. It's just a, it's a nightmare to deal with. DBFX, uh, again, that's uh, institutional. Goldman, obviously, that's institutional. Or the or re or Ready or, or REDI. Um, DTNI, IQ Feed, obviously, that's fantastic with um, the uh, DTNI key feed. Now, as far as I know, the level two should be available in the next big version of, of TradeLink. I'm hoping. Um, and uh, again, the other options I'm going to look into is Sterling and uh, Genesis. See what they uh, offer in terms of uh, in terms of uh, options. So now, um, as as again, a Canadian MB trading will, as a Canadian, allow me to trade options. Uh, the first strategy I am working with is options, but obviously I will we'll start rolling out. Uh, into uh, Forex. Uh, so Forex uh, it opens up a, a whole load of options. Again, DBFX would be, I think, has been getting good uh, reviews. TD Ameritrade is very expensive. Uh, and again, back to Lightspeed and be trading support Forex as well. So that's it. Uh, and again, these are the reasons why I like my trailing because it supports these uh, number of brokers. Um, and as I said, in, in a nutshell, IB Interactive Brokers just does not look promising in terms of moving forward. Could be wrong, but I just don't like the looks of what I see, and um, I'm hoping this helps you out in uh, being aware of what's out there in the present day uh, situation with Interactive Brokers and other brokers out there. Talk to you later.